darling, so twists. I do love a twist because my goodness, it's just an all rounder in terms of working your core. You get beautiful stretch through the spine, just gently wringing that spine, very nice. Um, and as I said, it works all your waist muscles. It's, it's an all round brilliant one to do. Um, so a basic twist, thing with belly dancers, everything is really good for your spine and for your joints. And when you're doing a twist, you never lead with the knee ever, because all that will do is it will put you out of alignment and give you a sore knee. You always move with your hip. OK, now just to get started so that you don't end up pushing with your knee, which is quite common to want to do. We're going to start doing a twist with a straight leg and then you cut, then your knee is protected, okay? So if you just extend out one leg, have your arms wide because it will give more freedom of movement for these muscles and just twist your hip in as much as you can. So much, see, I've come right onto my top of my toe and then you unwind and let that hip go back as far as it can. So you twist in as much as you can and then let it come back as much as you can. And you can use your arms as propellers <laughs> to twist that in, twist that out, twist that in, twist that out, and in and out and in and out. Okay, so it's all coming from your hip bone. So you're pushing your hip in, you're pressing it out, pushing it in, pressing it out pushing it in, pressing it out. So we'll do the other side. Extend that leg nice and straight so the knee is protected and twist that hip in, swing it back out. Twist that hip. So you're always working on the hip bone. Think about the hip bone and out, twist it in and out, twist and out, twist and out, twist and out, twist and out. Okay, and bring that in. So that is if you're going to do a leg extension and that is really just to get you used to thinking about using your hips. But normally you would have a bent knee and the important thing is, as I said, it's driven by your hip bone, never your knee. So just get used to pushing that hip in and in. Now I've got my heel raised. It's one of the moves which is so much, well basically if you had your heel to the floor you'd have to twist into the knee. So you have to have your knee, your heel raised and but keep your hip up high um, and so you're pushing up quite high and you're just swinging it in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, twist and you can quite actively, so when you move, if you move your feet, your knee must follow the foot. So I often think of a good way of getting a really good meaty twist, so nothing like that, a good full on twist, is um, to imagine you're mushing out something like a cigarette or something on the floor. Uh, but you must let your knee track your foot the whole time. And if you but if you're focusing on your hip bone, that will happen automatically. So push into the floor like the mushing out a cigarette, but focus on your hip bone. So pushing and pushing and pushing. And that will keep your knee in alignment. Okay? Push and push. So you keep as I said, the higher up you keep those hips, the easier it is. Use those arms to get momentum. Okay? And then we change side. So again, imagine, so your heel is raised. What I said, the higher up the hip is, the more freedom of movement you've got. And you can mush something into the floor if you want. It's great fun if you've got anything around your hip that's flying and flinging. And I know from experience, if you get really vigorous, if you've got coins on the end of a hip scarf, you whack yourself constantly with them. <laughs> but it's fun. Tassels are the best. So swing, swing, swing and swing. Okay. 
and I'm starting to burn a hole into the floorboard here. So, um, so I'll play some music and we'll do a bit of travelling too. Okay, I'm going to play again. <laughs> okay, doesn't want to know. <sighs> right, so here we go. So twist and twist and twist and twist. So I'm, I find it much easier if I go really high up onto my tiptoe. It gives me a lot more freedom to swing that hip. And you want to get that hip in as much as you can, so much you can really see a bottom. Twist, twist. Get those arms swinging. Try and stay strong in the core because you don't want to over pull anything. And change, twist, two, three, four, five, six, seven. High on the toe, high on the hip. That's it. And change sides. So, it's quite easy to travel to the side, but come on to both toes for travelling because it makes it a lot easier. So leading, so we're doing just a twist on this here. Are you ready? And twist and twist. So one foot comes slightly in front of the other. Change direction. So your lead foot is slightly forward of the back leg. Change direction. Keep nice and high on the balls of the feet to make it easier. And now we'll come forward, turn sideways, come to me, come to me. And going back. Now we can go round on the spot, just on one hip. So one heel raise, support leg down. And twist. Actually, the heel is raised, ignore that. So twisting round on the spot. Change leg, as I said, traveling both, being on the balls of the feet. Helps you move. Twist, 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 twist. What a lovely little waist workout that is. And well done.